What's up guys, it's Jay, more day of the kill, and I'm back here on Destiny! And tomorrow, the Iron Curtain will lift for the first time in year two, and with it comes Lord Saladas, ready to thrust you into combat, and if you're brave enough to take his Iron Boner head on, and promise not to choke on the lag. It's also worth noting that Bungie intends weapon drops to be your primary source of Iron Banner gear and they've increased the drop rates to reflect that. But the catch is there's always a catch. You guys gotta learn this. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Never. <laughs> Year 2 Iron Banner weapons are not reforgeable so remember that before you go ahead and start dismantling something that you might not see again. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the weapons that will be making an appearance in the Iron Banner. That way you can make an educated decision on whether or not you think this gear is actually worth your time competing for or if you'll just wait for the trials later on this week because I've been taking a look at these weapons and comparing them with some of the others in the game and honestly Unless these guns come with some type of perks that aren't already in the database we haven't seen before and Bungie's kept hidden from us, weapons look pretty mediocre and you can find better versions of them already inside the game. So first up, we have the Ash Raven's Flight Fusion Rifle and comparing this weapon card to my Omelon Decent FR4 Fusion Rifle from Banshee, I'd rather take the Omelon all day long has better stability, higher impact reload, so sorry Ash Raven, but you're pretty much uh, the Ass Raven. <laughs> Next we have Bretto Mart Stand, which is a carbon copy of the new Monarchy Objection. That's a very popular gun around the tower these days. And for those of you guys that love your Gellion's Demise, comes Convalence's Duty. Pretty much a 100% picture perfect copy of Gellion's Demise. Right down to the magazine size. You should have just called it Gellion's Demise. <laughs> but you, you guys, you guys see a theme building here, right? Even though some of the year one Iron Banner weapons were crap, there was a few. I mean, you had like the Felwinter's Lie. Ephrodite's Spear, Yoder's Hammer, even the Timmer's Lash had a few uh, fans, a little bit of a cult following there. But, you know, looking through the rest of these, the only one that actually makes me remotely excited for anything is the Sidearm Iron Wreath, which we've already seen gameplay in the Taken King pre-release footage from E3. They look like it had a relatively fast time to kill. Whether or not that's still the case inside of Taken King remains to be seen, but even as a weapon collector myself, I still, I can't find myself hopping on board the hype train for the Iron Banner. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Even with there being a wolfskin cloak in the loot pool, I still think that the year one Iron Banner cloak looked better and it still wasn't enough to make me want to suffer through its insanely bad connections to get it. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry guys, as much as I wanted to hype up these weapons for you, I can't because these weapons suck big fat donkey dick. Who sucks donkey dick? What part of this sucks my ass do you not under fucking stand? If I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. <laughs> so tell me in the comment section down below, will you be competing for any of this gear or will you be waiting for the return of the trials of Osiris? My name is Jay, more than ever kill. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys. Later.
battle was one side. Let them burn in your life.